everybody, welcome back to our channel and we are here with another Q&A session. Uh, the last one was probably a year or two ago, so I've been wanting to do this, but it takes quite an effort for me to get in front of the camera and do one of these. Uh, so I'm gonna go right into the questions. Uh, if you want to skip to another question, I'm gonna put all the timestamps down below. So whatever you're interested in, you can just skip to that. Uh, both Zazu and Wally just went for a long bike ride. So they're gonna take a nap while I answer your questions. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, first question we have here is what are mine? and daddy's name. So my name is Angie and it's spelled A-N-J-I and daddy's name is Abhishek and he goes by Abhi. We both are from Nepal and we've been living in the US for since 2007. So uh, a lot of people have also asked where we live. Uh, we live in the Bay Area in California and we've been living here since 2011. So it's been quite some time in California. I don't know if we should move because I'm missing Bend a lot. I love that place. The next question here is where did Zazu and Wally get their names? Uh, Zazu got his name from the movie The Lion King. If you haven't watched it, you should because it's such a good movie. Uh, there is a bird in that movie and it's voiced by none other than Mr. Bean, who we love. So we thought it would be perfect to name uh, our first baby as Zazu. And Wally, on the other hand, <laughs> we wanted to name him Dino from Flintstones, the pet dinosaur in that. Uh, I don't know why we didn't name him Dino, but Wally turned out to be perfect for him because Wally has the most expressive, most lovable eyes and it's perfectly like from the movie Wally -E. and yeah that's how they got their names how did we choose these certain breeds so there wasn't any particular breed that I thought w w was what I wanted for my first dog daddy just got Wal Zazu as a surprise for me which turned out great because that's when I decided oh we need a second dog and we thought of getting a little high energy dog, which turned out to be super high energy dog. So the funny story behind how we chose to get uh, Wally, I mean, a, a GSP for our second dog is, uh, we were at the dog park and we saw this really regal dog walk in and I'm like, whoa, that is a nice looking dog. And he was energetic and, all of that and I was like oh that's going to be perfect companion for Zazu as well so that's how we were like okay we're gonna get our GSP but I had no idea absolutely no idea how much energy these dogs can be so if you're getting your first dog and you're thinking oh let's get a GSP looking at Wally -E, don't get into that trap because it's a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of work and it took me quite some time to get adjusted to him. Uh, but anyways, how did you train Zazu and Wally? That's the next question. So most of the training is done by daddy because I'm not a good dog trainer and I'm not the patient one. Daddy is really good at that and he does all the training and that's how Zazu and Wally are such good puppies. But I think the most important part about dog training is spending time with your dogs. If you don't spend time with your dogs, you don't understand them, they don't understand you, there's no harmony. So I think the most important part of dog training is actually spending time with your dogs so that you get to learn about each other. Uh, the next question we have here is, how often does Wally go mountain biking with daddy and how many miles per ride? So both Zazu and Wally go mountain biking. Right now, because there's a baby over here and I am super tired all the time, I am not being able to keep up with how active I was like before. So daddy takes them often on mountain bikes. I, I mean mountain, I mean, what am I saying? They, in, they go mountain biking a lot more than before. 
so Zazu maybe he goes uh, two times a week and Wally maybe three or four times. So that's how they get most of their energy out. Other than that, I still do about two miles uh, off leash hikes with them every day. I'm keeping up with exercising for myself and both of them. So yeah, uh, the other question was how many miles? Uh, with when he takes Zazu and Wally, it's probably six to seven miles. When he takes just Wally, it's probably around 10. Or maybe I'm exaggerating, but like eight to 10. So let's say eight to 10. Have the boys been away from mom for a considerable amount of time? I don't remember. Daddy has been away from them a lot more than I have. I think ever since I've, we've had Wally, I've never been away from him at all. But with Zazu, I, uh, we had our wedding, so we had to go to Nepal. I just went for a week because I can't stay away from Zazu for so long. But yeah, I, that was probably one week then. And there was another time where I went on a Euro trip for two and a half weeks. I so. If you guys didn't know, I'm a big Adele fan and I went on this backpacking trip like everywhere like Amsterdam, Paris, Spain, like a bunch of other places and I followed Adele around kind of situation. So yeah, that's probably the only two times I've been away from Zazu. Tell us about your thoughts and feelings about having a first child and how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good for the for the kind of person I am, I have been so calm and so at peace. I think I've never been like this ever in my life. So it comes as a surprise to me also. Uh, the feelings about having a first human, human child, because Zazu is my first child. I, that's what I say. Uh, it feels good. We're excited. We're nervous and all of that. Let's see how it goes. But so far, so good. When are you do, due and do you know the gender yet? Uh, so we're due in July, early July. And no, we do not know the gender. We choose not to know. Uh, we just want to keep, let it be a surprise till delivery. How are Zazu and Wally reacting to the pregnancy? As you can see, Zazu has become super duper affectionate, uh, extra affectionate. He lets me use him as a footrest, which is, he's never done that before. I feel he kind of knows something is happening. And on the other hand, this kid over here, absolutely no idea. He's still jumping around, he doesn't care. I mean like he's, he doesn't jump on me, but I know he has no clue what's going on. He's just like, I'm the only kid, I'm the youngest one, but he's gonna get a surprise soon. The next question is, how do you keep the house so clean and are there any scratches on our floors? So all the floors we have in the house is wood and there is scratches everywhere. In the videos, you won't be able to see clearly, but I'll, I'll put video clips of close-ups close of the floor so you can see how bad the floors are. So when we just had Zazu, the floors were in pristine condition everywhere. But after Wally came, it was over for that, for all of the flooring. Um, how do we keep the house clean? We vacuum every single day. We change the sheets, like probably every day. All the sofa covers and all needs to get washed like every couple of days. So yeah, cleaning is just ongoing all the time and that's just part of keeping the house clean because we like it clean and the amount of um, dog hair that's everywhere we just like it's a part of our clothing now and our house how often do Zazu and Wally visit the vet is annual visit recommended if no illnesses is observed so both of them go for their annual visits. They have their vaccinations as well, twice a year. So all their vaccinations is done. January, they'll get half of their vaccinations and July, they'll get their other half. Uh, for doctor visits, if you see anything that is out of the ordinary, I give it a couple of days 
And if it doesn't go back to normal or if I feel it's gotten worse, we take them to the vet. Next question is, what is the first and last thing you do every day? The first thing I do every day is get up and meditate for about 15 minutes. And after that, Wally comes for his face scratches. He wants his face to be scratched in the morning. So he knows not to bug me in the morning when I'm doing meditation. But right after I finish, he comes and does that. Uh, at night, the last thing I do is give them fish oil and kiss them goodnight. That's actually what I do. The last thing I do at night. So fish oil is like a treat for them. So I give them that and then I kiss them goodnight and I go to sleep. How did Zazu become a therapy dog? So this is a funny story. We were at a dog park once and I think it was another lab or a retriever who had the exact same personality as Zazu and his parents, I mean his owner's parents, whatever you like to call them, um, was were like, oh, Zazu is so similar to our dog. Have you ever thought of doing a therapy a therapy dog training for him? And we had no clue about it. So we went home and read more about it, learned more about it from them as well. And um, that's how we got him trained. And he used to go to the hospitals, elderly care homes and all that kind of stuff. I'll leave some of those videos if you haven't seen before. But a uh, therapy dog is not something that you want your dog to do and they just become that. Zazu had to go through a lot of tests before even going through training. So they go through a few temperament tests to see if he is even a good candidate to be a therapy dog. Uh, and then after that, after he passes all of that, he'll go through a bunch of training. And then after he passes that, we go through sh uh, shadowing uh, someone else and all of that sort of stuff. So Zazu did that for a couple of years, like more than a couple of years, I think. But yeah, after COVID, we actually decided um, not to continue doing therapy sessions. Um, there were a few changes in uh, their rules and regulations. Yeah, that's how he became a therapy dog and now he's a retired therapy dog. Uh, so where is the last question now? How did you guys meet and did you ever know you both wanted dogs in your future together? So me and my husband actually met through mutual friends. We did not go to the same school or high school or whatever. Uh, we met through mutual friends and I was the one who actually set him up with a friend of mine. And that didn't work out and <laughs> we worked out later. I don't know how we started talking and like we thinking about dogs in the future. I mean, when we were younger, and I bet we didn't talk about it then, but after uh, after some time, we, we did talk about dogs, but I was the one who, who was like, nah, nah, nah. But he just surprised me with Zazu, and that was probably the best thing he's ever done. And yeah, since then, we just have one, two, one, two, and third baby coming over here. That's the last question and we will probably do more Q&A's. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take me another year to do it. But I am so glad and happy and so blessed and so grateful for everything that's happening in our lives right now. And I'm so thankful for all of you. So another thing is I do not like and like or comment on each and every comment I get on my videos or posts or whatever but I do read all of them I I swear I read all of your comments and and it makes me really happy it's just that I I really don't get the time to comment back or reply back uh, to each and every one of you it's because like 99.9% .9 of them are always always nice and um, happy comments so um, thank you everyone for listening watching our Q&A session and we hope to see you in our next one thank you bye our, my little bump right here this is how big it's gotten and the babies, okay, I think they, I woke them up from their nap. <laughs> but all right, good night. <laughs>